I am not an automobile expert, just shopping for a small SUV. I will not cover everything. I'll probably get some things wrong. And my video is just my opinion, and I hope you enjoy. All right, so here we have a 2020 Honda CRV, and this is the EXL model. And uh, it does have the fog lights on the bottom. Those are LED. The headlights and high beams are not, though. They're still halogen. Uh, if you want the LED, you have to go to the Touring or the Hybrid. It's weird why they used LED on the bottom and halogen up top. There are the wheels. I think they're the 18 inch wheels. It's a really nice car. I want to thank uh, Don Jacobs, Honda here of Lexington, Kentucky, um, for letting us take this home for the day. It's very nice. We're shopping for CRV, and they have been awesome. So I do recommend them. So you can see uh, everything's got plastic on it. They had uh, the steering wheel wrapped in plastic because we're doing during the pandemic trying to make everything as safe and sanitary as possible. They have plastic on the armrests and I assume they replace everything when I were when I return this. So as you can see, it has real soft here, it has some wood that I don't know if I'm too crazy about or not. I would almost like a carbon fiber type style there. Um, because you can it does look like shiny, kind of plasticky. I don't know. You can definitely tell it's not real wood, but it is real leather seats. So the EXL model gives you the um, leather seats, so the trim, leather uh, steering wheel. It does give you the uh, two memory seats, front seats. So that is really nice. Uh, it is a 12-way adjustable front seat. Also adds a passenger power seat. I think it's only a four-way though, so it's not a 12-way. The EXL adds that as well. The EXL also adds your home link, which is right here for you for you to control your garage doors. That is in the EXL as well. The EXL also gives you a power tailgate, so you can just push this button right here, press and hold it. The power tailgate will open. You can see that the EX. Uh, and the other models. Uh, Touring has it, but uh, this it is added in the EXL. You can press and hold that again, and it will close automatically. There's also a button on the um, hatch itself that you can press to automatically close that. Uh, they do add an eight speaker stereo system for the EXL model. The other models come with a six speaker. Not sure where the extra speakers are. Uh, I see one there, one there. I don't know, I'm not gonna go around and count them. So again, like I said, it is a power tailgate. All you do is press, press once and kind of just get out of the way. And it does open up. So here is the button here to close it. It's right here, just push it. If you wanna set the height, so if you have a garage that may be lower and uh, you're afraid that if you open it in the garage, it's gonna hit the garage door or something, you can set the height that you want it to open to there um we have a, a child seat in here right now but as you can see they have the um, this nice mat here which is cool so get anything that spills won't get on your nice carpet now that is is a two adjustable let me take this out for a second it is a as you can see there's a lip now here you can make this flush so you just bring it up flush just like that so there we go now it's pretty flush with the edge here so you can do that it's pretty cool there's a full size I mean it's not a little donut but uh, it's a good size spare there we go now some things I like this handle here that releases the seats so you no longer you don't have to you can still use the, the latch here but if you're back here and want to lower the seats just pull that and again this can make it completely flat across the bottom which is nice this is a cargo cover so you pull it out and cover anything you have down here so people can't look in and see while your vehicle is parked um, these are still halogen you can tell there is no power um, there is some tie downs here 
a little tie down right here and a couple tie downs up there and another one over here so I guess if you have like a cargo net or a organizer or something you can keep it where you want it I'm gonna push this button here and we're gonna close it and again just kind of get it out of the way so this is the all-wheel drive model as you can see by the badging um, the smoked rear tail lights are new for this year the uh, 2019 were clear here this has like a little tint to it uh, this year um, let's see there are, there's lots of room in the back seat um, I'm 5'11 I have plenty of leg room when I am seated in here and I will show you but here we go I mean there's plenty of room the seat is in the position that I drive in so again I mean you're talking a good I don't know, six inches I can stretch my legs out so plenty of room back here there are air vents back here which is nice um, for the passengers in the rear there are two USBs back here these are high power too they're 2.5 amps each that is very nice as well and with the car seat in here you can get a person on each side uh, they would have to be fairly slender people um, have a halogen inside here as well. I just like to see everything go LED nowadays, but a lot of people like the color of the halogens inside. I don't know, people. some people don't like the LEDs. But um, to me, it looks a little bit old and dirty. So again, these seats do fold down. Uh, there is a middle fold-down armrest that has some cup holders in it. Cup holders on each door. There's plenty of cup holders. Again, more cup holders. There's two here. And this is a little weird here on the door. Um, but this goes all the way like back quite far. My arm is, I think things could get lost back there. Um, but here's how you adjust your mirrors, your side mirrors. Now we did learn that the uh, once you set your seat position, it just remembers your seat. It doesn't remember your mirrors. So if somebody gets in and changes your mirrors, you'll have to readjust those. Uh, the seats are extremely comfortable. The leather is super soft. Again, more cup holders. Everything, again, is covered in plastic. It is brand new. Had eight miles on it. Uh, the new center console has like a little slide-out tray. You can close the tray. You can lift the tray up out of the way. You can take the tray out completely. Uh, this is a big area, so you can, if you, uh, for the ladies, you can put your purse and stuff down in there. And plenty of room for still using the armrest. Uh, there is a power, 12 volt power out in there. There are two USB here, uh, USB plugs, but these are um, lower power than the ones in the back, which is kind of odd. This is a 1.5 amp. This is a 1 amp. There is a little pocket here. Put your phone, it's perfect for your phone. Um, on the hybrid, I believe in the Touring, this is a wireless charging pad but not on the EXL. As you can see, this is this is a Max, and it fits perfectly in there. Again, more cup holders. They are adjustable. We have a brake hold. We have a park parking brake here. You have the auto start stop system, and then you have an econ mode. Econ mode will take away a little bit of your power. Um, you will notice a little bit of power loss, and the AC may not blow as cold. It kind of tries to conserve energy where possible. To give you more miles per gallon. Again with the uh, auto start stop. Um, this was added in 2020. I don't think the 2019 models have this. What that does is when you're stop and go traffic in the city, you pull up to a light, put your foot on the brake, the engine will stop. Air conditioner, radio, everything else still works. Just shuts the engine off a little bit while you're waiting for the light to turn. As soon as you take your foot off the brake, engine starts right back up. I do have uh, that feature on my truck, and I do feel that uh, it increases the gas mileage. So, uh, I really do like that. But if you don't like it, you can push that button and you can turn it off. Now over to the left of the steering wheel, you have the lane departure um, warning. So if you're going down the road and the car senses that you are veering off the edge or out of your lane, if that is on, it will alert you with a audible alert and a visual alert on your dash. 
you don't like that, you can push that turn it off. This is the um, braking assist. So if it detects that you're going to hit somebody, it will hopefully automatically brake for you. Uh, traction control, and again, there is your remote door opener in the back here hatch. So let's um, start this up. So put to start this up, just have the key somewhere on you. It is a uh, push to start button. Put on the brake and push that one time. Go ahead and close the door. All right, you can see it says fashion seat belts. We do have econ mode on, as you can tell by the leaf here. And there is a matching leaf on the dash. If you don't want it on, you just push the button and your leaf will go away. And it says econ off. Um, audio, this is the same uh, from a, a few years. It's been the same. It may uh, be a little bit different, just the little menus. But overall, this is the same as the, it has been for the past two, three years. I do like that this they added a separate volume audio button. Uh, some years they didn't, and you had to push, like, slide. So I do like that. Uh, this is auto temperature control. So you can set this, um, and you can see up here, set to 75. You can adjust driver's passenger side for the uh, temperature control as well. It has also a fan up down. If you want to cool it fast, you don't want to wait, wait for the uh, climate control. You can just push that up. Um, here we go. The it does have heated seats, both driver and passenger, and they are three... Uh, way selectable. So you can see the lights there. Uh, and from my um, experience, three will burn you up. I mean, it's just my preference to have one, but maybe three at first and then go down to one. But anyway, uh, here's your recirculate, uh, bring in fresh air, front window to foster. Uh, here is your rear end window or rear end side mirror defroster. So those are nice to have the side mirrors. Um, got your large glove box. This is all leather. This I like this little black bar here with the stitching. Looks really nice again. I think carbon fiber would have looked really nice here instead of the wood. But um, overall looks really good. Really solid. The seats are super comfortable like I said and super soft. Um, Alright so here we are. This hasn't changed much from uh, several years. You have, you can make a phone call. Uh, you can, there's several voice commands you can do. Search music on your iPhone or connected device. Um, go into the menus. Here's where you can look at your, you know, your fuel economy. You can go in here. I'm not even sure what this is yet with the coffee cup. I was hoping that it would deliver me coffee, um, but it doesn't have coffee maker built in. Maybe next year. Um, let's see, uh, this, you can see your tire pressure and probably some other things there, I don't know. Um, let's see, there you can see your oil so, life. Uh, it does have automatic cruise control and, um, lane keeping assist. To turn those on, you just press this button here. You see the ACC and LKAS lights are on the dash. Uh, to turn on the, uh, lane keeping assist, you have to push this button right here. You will notice that there are some lines up there when the camera that is mounted behind your rear view mirror detects the lines in the road. They will light up solid white knowing that uh, the Honda is in control and it will keep you within the lanes. Now you still have to keep your hands on the wheel. Uh, if you take your hands off the wheel for a couple seconds, it will alert you to take over. So it is not a self, full self-driving, but it is a pretty awesome feature and does work fairly well. All right, now this does have the 190 horsepower, 1.5 liter turbo engine. All of them have this engine except for the hybrid. Uh, it's a little different as an electric engine as well. Um, as before though, the, this is also in the LX, whereas the LX last year had a different engine. They put all the engines uh, the same in this year. So, um, that's pretty much it. We really like it. And I do recommend going to Don Jacobs. They've been super, uh, easy to work with and Chris the sales manager 
super nice guy just compliment him on his beard and he may give you a discount probably not but uh yeah i don't know him uh, i just met him yesterday but he seems really nice and he's been really easy to work with and would highly recommend going there so again this does have the blind spot detection uh which is nice in the mirrors that has a little alert to let you know it has the rear uh, backup camera of course with the um let you know if cars are coming while you're trying to back up it's just a really nice uh, car overall it has a lot of safety features and the safety ratings on it are fantastic so if you're in the market for a crv uh, or a, a little suv and have been considering other models check out this go see chris at um, don jacobs in Lexington.